Where we last left off, I had just completed the four-jaw chuck adapter and machined a square piece of material with it. The next project for this session is a rocket stove. And then we'll go into how I built my new bike shifter mount. Greensandmachines.com So what is a rocket stove? Basically it's a very efficient wood burning stove used in areas where there's not a lot of fuel available and you can burn just random wood scraps and generate a lot of heat with it. There's like a thousand guides on how to make them on YouTube so I'm just going to show how I built mine. So I found some scrap tubing but then I realized it's not going to be big enough so I got some bigger tubing. I was originally going to house the entire rocket stove in this scrap helium tank for the body but I'll show later why that didn't work out. After doing some geometry, I decided to miter cut it like this to save as much material and so I would only have to cut it once. I miscalculated and had to cut an extra piece to extend the intake, then welding it all together. At the same time I was welding a filter funnel together for another project. Then after cutting all the holes in the helium tank and trying to fit it together and trying to weld it together. I realized this wasn't going to work because the sheet metal on the helium tank was so thin that welding it to the thicker parts was just such a hassle. So I decided just to make some feet for the rocket stove out of some other scrap square tube that I had lying around. So this ring on the top to support the pot was kind of superfluous. I had this big old round piece of material lying around and I wanted to use it finally. So I tried parting off a ring in the lathe, but that wasn't working out. So I resorted to taking it to the rotary table, drilling a bunch of holes, using an end mill to cut it out. It took a long time. After cutting it out, cleaning it up, I welded these brackets onto the top of the rocket stove, and I made these bushings on the lathe so the ring would be detachable. I didn't want to actually weld to the ring because it might distort, and then every time you put something on top of it, it wouldn't be flat. So that just screws on. Lastly, I made this little shelf to separate the air and fuel intakes because we tried testing it out without it and the wood would just sit on the bottom and no air would get underneath it. So that fits in like so, it's removable. Then after sandblasting it, we painted it with some high temperature paint and I still have yet to actually test it. Maybe you'll see that in a later video. Now let's talk about the bike shifter. So I had had these indexing shifters for a long time, but the one on the front derailleur would always have this problem of it overshifting on the third gear causing the chain to slide off. And plus I had already upgraded or downgraded depending on who you ask to a friction shifter in the rear derailleur and I had been loving it, so I naturally wanted to replace the front one eventually. My friend gave me this shifter from who knows what, a lawnmower maybe. It was definitely not designed for a bike because the cable stop is a different size. I first made the handlebar mount out of a block of aluminum, drilling a 7 8 hole in it, mounting the screws in it to match those on the shifter. Then I opened up the shifter, took out the cable stop part, I had to clamp it in the vise in a precarious way to mill out this area. And amazingly, I was able to get it so the cable fit in there. I also had to make an adapter to fit the shifter cable housing in. So I just turned a piece in the lathe to fit into the original one. Then I mounted it on the bike. I had to add a bunch of washers to space it out so my hands could actually fit underneath it on the handlebars. And what do you know, it works like a charm. I did have plans originally to make this big old shifter with the gate valve handle, but this will save me some weight in the meantime. Thank you for watching, hope you found this enjoyable and informative. As always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Also check out the blog on greensandmachines.com, there is a lot more articles of building stuff and bicycles, far more than there are videos. So check it out.